having tacos for supper and I thought I would show you how I, I make my tacos. What you will need is one pound of hamburger, taco shells or flour tortillas, your choice, um, chili powder, onion, small can of tomato sauce, three fourths cup of water, paprika, seasoning salt, salt, garlic, oregano, and cumin. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we want to do is um, brown our hamburger meat. So I've turned my stove on to medium high heat, and when my pan is hot enough, I will bring you back and we'll start browning right, the meat. My pan is warm enough, so we're going to go ahead and get the hamburger in there. Now this is 80-20 uh, brown meat, which is what I prefer to use for my um, for my um, tacos. So I did not add any oil to the bottom of this pan because. It's going to start rendering out fat here as well it already is. So just go ahead and get it broken up. I'm going to let this go ahead and brown off and I'm going to turn my pan back just a little bit because it is cast iron. So let's start working. Let's go ahead and get the onion chopped up. Okay, you can see I have my onion diced up. And it's really up to you how you dice it. You can have a fine dice, a medium dice, or a chunky dice on it. I like medium for tacos. And let's go back over here and flip the hamburger over. And what you want to do is kind of break it up. Um, this again is another preference. You may like chunkier meat in your tacos. I prefer more on the smoother side, so I will break mine up pretty fine, um, but you, this is your, that's your preference on this right here, so. Okay, I'm going to keep breaking this up, and it's going to continue to brown, and when it's completely browned and ready to drain, I will bring you back. Okay, my hamburger meat is browned, and it, it, it's, it's broke up to the consistency I prefer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to my sink and I'm going to drain it. I'm going to bring it back to the stove, put it back on the cap, and put my onion in. So when I have it back on the stove and ready to put the onion in, I will okay. be back. The meat has been drained and it is back in the, the pan, back on the stove. I'm going to add my onions. And I'm also going to go ahead and add um, some of my, of my seasoning salt. That is a preference. You know, if you want to add salt and pepper instead of seasoning salt, that's fine. If you don't want to add anything, that's fine too. Um, but my seasoning salt, if you do use seasoning salt, then I would say maybe a teaspoon. This is something you can always go back and adjust to. So I'm going to get this mixed up and get the onions cooking and then i'm going to bring it over here and we're going to measure out the spices that go into it so when i get this thoroughly mixed in i'll be back okay for the spices we are going to need one teaspoon of garlic one teaspoon of cumin, and I might just add a little more cumin because I adore cumin. So if you see me go a little over on it, you know why. Um, next is one teaspoon of chili powder. one teaspoon of paprika, one half teaspoon of oregano, and, it, and the recipe does call for salt, but I actually hold off until I get everything mixed in to taste for salt, because I have already added seasoning salt, 
Sometimes it needs a little more, sometimes it doesn't. So those are the seasonings that are gonna go into it. And when I get this onion cooked a little bit more, I will bring you back and we'll add the seasonings. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my third, uh, three-fourths cup of water and I'm gonna open up my tomato sauce. Um, I'll bring you back when I'm ready to add the seasonings. Okay, my onions have cooked for a few minutes, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add the seasonings. And I like to add the seasonings to it before I add any liquids because I think it gives um, the, the herbs and spices time to bloom. So I'm gonna give that a few minutes. I'll bring you back when I'm ready to add the tomato sauce and the water. Okay. Um, the spices have time, have had time to bloom, so I'm going to go ahead and add my water, and I'm going to add my tomato sauce. I'm going to turn this back just a little bit, stir it up, and bring it back. Okay. I've got it all mixed in, and you're going to be scared. This looks awful watery, and this isn't how the package looks, but what you're going to do is you're going to bring this to a boil, and then you're going to reduce it to a simmer, and you're going to let it simmer until it becomes the consistency you prefer. We prefer a really thick taco meat, so this is probably gonna simmer for us for um, 30 minutes or so, but after I bring it to a boil, I'll, I'll kick it back down. Also, go ahead periodically and taste it because, again, this, didn't come, this seasoning did not come out of a package, so you may need to adjust it. You may need to add more of the seasonings. Um, what I usually do is just make a huge batch of this and just add like three or four tablespoons of the already mixed up seasoning. Um, I'm going to do a video on how to do that because it can be a little confusing on how to triple and quadruple a recipe. So, but go ahead and feel free to taste this and it, it's going to be this kind of loose until it boils and thickens up. Um, when mine gets a little more thick, I will bring you back. Okay. You can see that it is thickening up, and this is probably only 10 minutes into it. So I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes. Oh, by the way, continue to stir this. Don't walk away from it because it may get away from you and it may stick to the bottom of your pan. So go ahead and stir this every once in a while. But I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and taste it and see if it needs any more seasoning. Okay, as you can see, it has thickened up a great deal and it will continue to thicken up. This is not, this is not as thick as we like it, so I'm gonna taste it right now for seasoning. Because like I said, you never know. It may need more, it may not. I think that tastes great. I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and let it reduce down a little bit more. Another thing you can do to let it reduce down is kind of make a little hole in the center. That way the liquid can pool to the center and kind of um, evaporate faster. That's what I'm gonna do. I will bring you back when it's done. Okay, as you can see, there's no more liquid pooled in the middle. So I'm calling this done. It is nice and thick and I've tasted it and it tastes great. So when I have this on the plate, I'll bring you back. Okay, here it is, homemade tacos. I like to serve mine with refried beans. I hope you enjoy.